Yep, I am still alive and welcome back for another episode. My name is Damien and yeah, it's been a little while since I've last posted. We've been very busy with multiple cars. This video is about the engine reveal. I left you guys hanging in the previous episode with a bit of a blur. So I guess it's now time to explain what engine went in, why I chose that engine and how the engine, gearbox and a brand new clutch kit cost us 500 bucks. So let's have a quick look at what happened previously and I guess we'll let the episode do the rest of the talking. The previous episode was a massive recap on all the hard work that has been done on the car so far, from a bare shell to what is now a Bayside Blue R34 Skyline. So I also asked you guys for a favor if you could share the video and that is exactly what you did. So now the video sits at 1 million views and is growing day by day and I would just like to give a massive thank you to every single person that has done that and let's get to the exciting content. So that was many, many months worth of work compressed into minutes rebuilding this wrecked R34 Skyline and we're about to get to the fun part where we get to start playing with the engines. So if you like this sort of content, consider subscribing and while you're at it, you might as well guess what's inside. While you're at it, you might as well guess what's inside. And of course it had to be an RB engine. So I asked you guys many months ago, what do you want to see in the engine bay? An SR, a JZ, a Barra, an RB? Some dude even went to the extent and commented, I want to see a Volvo engine in the car. So at the end of the day, I really wanted an RB in it and we got here. So unfortunately it is not an RB26 because the funds just aren't there for a 26 and a fancy drivetrain setup. So with this idea in mind, we had to find a solution and to do it in a poor man's GTR fashion. So an RB30 was the next option. This was like months ago. My friends Sean and Dan have RB30 powered cars, so I was already kind of convinced on the idea, but just wasn't totally sold on it. already kind of convinced on the idea but just wasn't totally sold on it so I ended up contacting Anthony from Dartone Racing who has built one or two RBs to say the least and yeah he sacrificed an hour of his time on the phone talking RBs and he said look man put an RB30 in it so I guess you can kind of see where this story is going <laughs> So now came the time to actually find an RB30 engine, which is something that comes in multiple cars, such as the VL Commodore, um, the R31 Skyline, or in our case, a bunky old Nissan Patrol. I spent a day on two on Gumtree, which is the equivalent to uh, Craigslist for you American viewers, and I found one locally in working condition, a complete engine for 300 bucks. So Harry and I went out one evening, we helped the boys pull the engine out of this patrol. Thank you. 
and yeah now we have an rb30 all we need is an rb25 cylinder head so pretty much what you do is you use the rb30 block and you throw a um, twin cam rb25 or an rb26 cylinder head on top and then you get what is called an rb2530 or an rb2630 and of course you can kind of see where this story is going uh, one of my friends Alex on Facebook, you know how you get those notifications when someone puts something up for sale? Ding, 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 $200 RB25 complete with low comp. Thank you very much. So now we have an RB30 and a complete RB25 for 500 bucks. So fast forward a, another few months and the R33 Skyline that you guys have probably seen a glimpse of in each episode had to go. So it was a car that I did not own, it was owned by my neighbor's brother-in-law and last minute a buyer fell through so I ended up buying the car for $1200 thinking you know what, it's got an RB25 engine which I turned over by hand and it seemed like it had really really low compression which actually was the case. <laughs> It's got a five-speed manual transmission that are kind of tricky to come by nowadays, so that's already worth more than 1200. So if nothing works in this car except the gearbox, I've still got my money's worth. We can use it in this car temporarily, sell a few parts off the R33, and we can continue this budget build called the Poor Man's GTR. He said that it was fitted with a brand new lightweight flywheel and a clutch. You can't really believe a word he's saying because you can see the condition of the car. Like So within 20 minutes of ownership of this fine vehicle, my friend Dan and I had the engine and the gearbox out of the car and I wish the camera was rolling. We pulled that gearbox off and a bright pink Exidy clutch and lightweight flywheel were, were right behind the engine. Boy. Wow. That's actually never been used. That is never, That's bro, that, this has never been used. This is. Yeah. So at this point, I've got more than my money's worth at 1200 and to make a great situation even better, I ended up selling a shell to a dude for $1,200, which is a pretty, pretty cheap and reasonable price for an R33 Skyline. And yeah, so I ended up with a few parts that cost me nothing and the poor man's GTR build continues. With the R33 Skyline out of sight, the RB30 idea put on hold and two low compression RB25 engines floating around somewhere in the workshop that we can use in the future. The question is, what engine did we end up using that doesn't cost us a lot of money, gets this car back on the road as soon as possible? Because to be honest, I've spent the last, I would say seven months, pretty much full time trying to restore this car. I'm getting to a point where I'm starting to lose motivation and I just wanna drive it and enjoy it for what it is. And to answer that question, an RB25 Neo DE motor was the answer. Um, it's an engine that comes out of an R34 Skyline, a naturally aspirated one that most people wouldn't even look at. I picked it up for $500. It's got great compression across all the cylinders, seem, seems to be a healthy motor. 
Obviously we have turboed it. We can't push as much boost through it as a turbo motor. So I can already see every kid on the internet destroying that keyboard saying you have to have 800 horsepower or more. But the case is if you've ever been for a spin in a high horsepower car, you really got to know what you're doing especially when it's real drive and I'm just not at that stage yet. I want to learn, I want to drive this car to the max, enjoy it for what it is, get some driving content out. I have so many videos planned, but we can't do it if the car is always in the lift. So to conclude this episode, we have gone with an RB25 Neo DE motor and talking about the inlet manifold, turbo and everything else, though that is to come in future episodes, which is like next week, because we've got so much footage. So Mr. Dan, my friend in the next episode, will be showing you guys how to take a straight piece of pipe and turn it into things like intercooler pipes, um, a dump pipe, an exhaust, and yeah, plenty more content to come. I know this one's been a bit of a talking video, but, but I figured let's still make this video just to explain to you guys why I ended up choosing the engine I chose. The RB30 idea was a great idea, but unfortunately it did involve pulling, putting a little bit more money into it, which I didn't really want to spend. What I really want is an RB26 with a BMW gearbox behind it. So what we have right now is just a temporary affordable solution to get us on the road. And I don't know what else to say. There's going to be plenty more episodes to come with exciting stuff.